Hey, this is Andy from He Owns Spain, and today I'm going to be showing you a breakdown of Lubina, which is sea bass. I made pico de gallo earlier today, and I just wanted to show you guys this. Let me first point out, this fish, this whole fish right here is going to be 0.494 kilograms, so about half a kilogram, or 1.1 pounds uh, in weight, and it cost me under 4 euros, and it's... It's a beautiful fish. I bought it a couple hours ago. I'll include a video of uh, this fish market just at a regular supermarket. You can see it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful fish. I'm gonna go ahead, and just cause it does have a little moisture on it. I wanna keep my cutting board kind of clean as I'm, as I'm gonna take the fillets off this fish and take the skin off. There's also these women at, at the supermarket. Usually usually it's women. Um, these uh, ladies who work at the fish stations, they're some of the most incredible, hardworking, really masters of their craft. And they do this all day. And you can see with this Lubina I just got, it comes scaled and it comes cleaned out on the inside. Um, and you can see in this case, this lovely woman who scaled my fish has done an amazing job with it. It's, uh, I, I, have, I have no scales kind of left over. So, first step, cool. All I'm gonna do is like, uh, the preparers of this fish will take off some of the, some of the fins for you. Um, and basically all I need to do right now is just, I'm gonna take off the belly, I'm gonna take off the head. And all I'm gonna do is angle it towards the body right here. Cut down until I feel a little bone. And just cut that out right there. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Great. And then you can kind of feel we have a little head here. I'm just gonna use my bigger knife to just go ahead and chop through the head right there. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut into, right along the spine here, I'm just gonna cut into the flesh. You'll see a lot of people breaking down these fish that do, you know, a hundred of these things a day and they're amazing at it. Just bear with me. As I'm going through this, I'm gonna feel my blade going along the rib cage. What I want to do here is just cut out this fillet here. What we have here is pretty nicely, nicely skinned, just quick and dirty method to get that cleaned up real quick. If you get a little blood, don't worry about it, just, just clean it up. You know, you don't want it on your undercooked filet, but it's not the end of the world. And everything's gonna be fine. From right here, we actually have, we've got a number of little little bones and issues to take care of. For these, we're actually just gonna focus on this fillet portion right here, and we're gonna uh, not use the belly in this preparation. Um, and it's just cause we're making fish tacos and you know, belly would be fine in it, but I just want some quickly seared fillets, keep it nice and simple. Cool. So right now I've got to do a little more work to these. Uh, right now I've got the rib cage right here. I've got the rib cage right here. So I'm just gonna kind of cut under these rib bones, feeling for the rib bones. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that fillet up right there. 
All you can see is I got a nice little, got a nice little flare right here. Same thing over here. I'm gonna do this feel for those little rib bones. Reach under them, take them out. And the same type deal, I'm just gonna you know, trim out this little belly. Belly area, it's pretty thin. And what I've got here are two quick and dirty little fillets. Um, you can see right here I've got some more little stuff to clean up. I knew that was too easy. Great. So with these two fillets right here, I have the two tail ends right here and the head ends right here. One thing you'll notice, you can see on my board, if you look really closely, there are a couple little scales on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe those off. You know, keep this as clean as we can without driving ourselves crazy. Um, Right here, I have a pair of my wife's amazing little tweezers. They have been delegated to only picking fish bones, um, which thank you so much, my angel. All I'm doing here, I'm gonna go in, get yourself a little paper towel, drop it down there. All you're doing is feeling for little prickly pin bones, and you're gonna find them. Just gonna nab them with your little nab them with your little tweezers. See that? It doesn't matter if you we're gonna we're gonna pan sear this really hot. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Anyways, you can feel all these little bones in here as you go through it. You kinda see we got a little more cleanup right here. A little more repeat. Vale. Fantastico. Okay. Um, so right here on this first one, we started picking the bones out of. I think I got one more little guy in here. Feel something. Maybe not. Okay. So we go on to this next one. Notice there are even some little small bones even close to the head there. They're smaller than some of the regular size pin bones. They're still worth snagging. Take that out. Reach for it. Take that out. And when you're pulling out these pin bones, kind of use your use your finger to, to gently press down on the flesh around where you're pulling out the pin bone just to you know not tear up that flesh more than more than you really have to and again you don't have to do this some people are fine just like picking out the bones as they eat for me listen if I'm eating a fish taco I kind of want it to be I want it to be nice And yeah, this looks a little weird. You know, I'm, I'm checking for bones. Something right there. Great. So now that we took out the pin bones, that's fine. All I wanna do next, just wanna take up the skin. Take off the skin for these. I'm gonna do them one at a time. This is a really small Ladina, as you can tell by the size of fillets. I'm gonna grab it like that towards the tail end. I'm gonna make a small little cut. You know, actually, I'm gonna reposition this towards this side of my board because my knife right here has a little bit of a thick handle. And actually, when I'm cutting off the skin on this, I kind of want the handle edge to hang down here 
you know, below the edge of the cutting board so I can get the right angle of my knife while I take off this skin. You'll see I'll start to cut into this skin. I'll grab this little tail fold, pull a little closer to the edge of the cutting board. And I'm gonna wait until I kind of feel that skin on the blade. I'm gonna grab a hold of this skin. And all I'm gonna do is leave my knife at the right angle, leave my fillet there, I'm just wiggling the skin. What you'll see is that I actually come out with a really nice, you know, piece of piece of salmon skin. I shouldn't have too much left on my fillet at the end. It's nice, cool. So these are tiny fillets, you know, like I said. But again, we're talking about we're talking about 3.83 euros. Right now, the exchange rate is pretty close to close to even. It's really not too bad. The second guy, same same exact deal. It's easy. I'm gonna cut down into here, and you just gotta be gentle with it. Don't don't rush it. Take your time with it. If you feel like things are going wrong, don't worry about it. You can always go back and fix it later. So I feel like I'm down to the skin. I'm gonna start wiggling this bottom section of skin you know this one wasn't quite as smooth as as the last one but again you can see you know we're not like cutting a lot of flesh off the off the actual fillet then on the bottom we've got it All you have to do next is uh, go ahead and give your hands a nice wash again before when you're dealing with fish. You know, before you get into it, when you're handling plates or you're you know moving stuff around, make sure you're you're dealing with clean hands. But I've actually got just a plate over here from my freezer. Um, you know, these fillets have been out for a minute. I'm not trying to freeze them. I'm trying to put them back in the fridge, but I do want them to, you know, kind of maintain their integrity as, as best they can. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these back in the fridge. And that's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and we're ready to cook our fish tacos. We're gonna take these out of the fridge, salt them, sear them on high heat, Chop them up, add into the fish tacos. It's gonna be easy as hell. Anyways, hope you enjoyed.